Hello everyone. Let's look at the two methods that we can use in solving this um, problem here. Now the first method, right? The first method. Let's go. For the first method, we have square root of x over x that is equal to 3. Now we will cross multiply directly. So we have um, square root of x to be equal to x times 3, and that is 3x. Now what do I do? I need to remove this square root by squaring it. And whatever you do on one side, you would have to do it on the other side. So this will be squared as well. Then what can we do? This is going with this. So x is now equal to now here we are having 3x squared right so it's going to be 3x times 3x that will be 9x squared now we can write this first so we write 9x squared then this becomes minus x since it's going to meet with the other and then everything is now equal to zero what is common to both of them is x so i write x then i write 9x minus x is already out so one will be there then we equate this to zero sometimes after factorizing you may not be sure you're correct so try to open the bracket and it will give you what you had before okay now let's continue with this we have um from here we can say that it's either x is equal to zero or 9x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, x here is equal to 0, or 9x is equal to 1. Then, x remains 0, or from here, we can divide both sides by 9. So, we get 1 over 9. Therefore, we are saying that x is equal to 0, or 1 over 9. Now, this is for the first method. Let's go straight to the second method. And um, we have second method. We have the second method. And um, the equation is square root of x over x equals um, 3. The one we did before, we cross multiplied. But this time around, we will not cross multiply, but let's see what we're going to do. Here, we do you know that square root of x is the same thing as x will be power of 1 over 2? Then we have this over x. And ordinary x is the same thing as x to the power of 1. Okay? Although you're not supposed to show this power of 1. But this is equal to 3. Now, let's obey one of the laws of indices. If the bases are the same, you will pick 1. Then if you have division, you subtract the powers. So we're having 1 over 2 minus 1. The power of the numerator is 1 over 2. The power of the denominator is 1. So we have to subtract both of them. And this is still equal to 3. Now what do I do from here? This is x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 is giving us negative 1 over 2. I believe we know that. So this is now equal to what? 3. And then to deal with this, the next thing we are going to do is um, to remove this negative um, from here first. Okay? To remove the negative from here, or without removing the negative, we can say, okay, let's multiply the power here by each reciprocal. So we are going to have x to the power of 1 over 2. Then multiply by 2 over 1. But it's negative here, right? It's negative over there. So that will reflect on the right-hand side. So we have 3 to the power of negative 2 over 1. But remember that 2 over 1 is still the same thing as 2. Now, to continue with this, um, this negative will cancel itself. Then these two will go with that. And then we have just x over here. And our x from here is now equal to 
from here we have 3 to the power of negative 2. And 3 to the power of negative 2 is the same as 1 over 3 to the power of 2. The negative has gone. And then this is the same as 1 over 9. So from the first method, we got three solutions. Sorry, we got two solutions. We had um, x to be equal to 0 or 1 over 9. And from the second method, we got just one solution. And that is x equal to 1 over 9. So I think we can say that um, the first method is more appropriate as it gives us um, the two um, solutions. Although from the first method again, let's observe something very quickly. From the first method where we got x to be equal to 0 or 1 over 9. Remember that this x to be equal to 0 does not satisfy the equation as well. It doesn't satisfy the equation because if you put zero under here, it gives you an undefined um, expression, an undefined fraction. I don't know how you would call it, because whatever you put here, as long as you're putting zero here, it will never give you three. So zero should be rejected, right? So any of the methods you use, it's okay. Thank you for watching. I am grateful.